hey guys, uh, get my full unfiltered show the way you can't here on YouTube by visiting thecomicsgym.com. It's free and totally uncensored. Let's get right to it. Got a lot of stuff today. Holy Christ, we all knew Biden was losing his marbles, but mother of God, the rest of the world knows it now. Have you been watching any of the clips? G7 Summit? G for Gaff? More like G Wiz? How the fuck is this guy running anything? Ha! Huh. Poor guy made a real asshole of himself on the world stage. Just think back when they said President Trump wasn't mentally fit. Just think about it. Everything they said about Trump is true about this guy. Every freaking word. Not physically fit, not mentally fit. President Biden embarrassed himself at the G7 summit when he tried to correct British Prime Minister Boris Johnson for not introducing the president of South Africa, even though Johnson already did so by name. Uh, the blooper, one of several Biden made amid the series of meetings with the world leaders, prompted laughter, literally people laughing at him at his expense at the start of a roundtable discussion in Cornwall, England. Uh, the awkward incident took place on Saturday, according to Sky News, which posted a video clip and a transcript uh, online. Uh, so, God, this is cringeworthy. It made the hair on my left nut stand right up, all three of them. Take a, take, 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 uh, take a look at this. And just say how brief I am uh, to welcome uh, those who have just joined us. Be some pretty spectacular weather uh, with them, Prime Minister Modi, uh, President Ramaphosa, President Moon, and Justin Lee, and the President of and, and, and the President uh, of South Africa, as, 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 I, as I said earlier. Oh, well, you did, I did. I did not. I did. I, I, I certainly did. Uh, so, <laughs> Look at him, like an old do 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 <laughs> All right. Oh, God. <laughs> Just like an old dawdling idiot at Thanksgiving dinner. You know what that was, too, by the way? Him going, you forgot the leader. He was the only black guy at the table, the leader of South Africa. Uh, once again, pandering. He was so eager to pander that he forgot the guy was already introduced. Just a real... Uh, you didn't include the black fella. What you just said yeah. is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. <laughs> Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. May God have mercy on your soul. And may Trump become president again. And a Sunday news conference at Cornwall Airport, uh, Nuque, was marked by several Biden gaffes. I mean, holy Christ. Can you imagine SNL going, there's nothing funny about him. Luckily, luckily they're not, you know, doing new shows right now. Or they, they wouldn't even know what to fucking do. They'd have to go black. <sighs> um, let's take a look at some more of him trying to fucking pretend he's not mental. The European allies, can I ask a question about the European allies? <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble with my my staff. Yeah, go ahead. But I pre pretend that you didn't answer you. Thank you very much, sir. You have often said uh, repeatedly that America is back. Yes. Uh, at the same time, you've kept in place some Trump-era steel and aluminum sanctions. And I wanted to ask you, when you're having these conversations with European allies who are very concerned about these sanctions, how do you justify that? And what are your plans? 120 days. Give me a break. Need time. Ugh, I've been here 120 days. Give me a break. I need time. Takes me that long to take a dump and have my insure in the morning. Ugh. You can act like a man. What's the matter with you? How about him going, my handlers are going to get mad at me. Jesus, they're not even trying to hide that he's a puppet. You know, uh, Jim Henson's backstage. He's going to get itchy. Hmm, yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, God. Oh, God. It gets worse. Oh. I almost feel, I, I made the mistake, I said, I think I feel bad for him. And even Matthew, Matthew goes, no, you don't. Fucking get exactly right. Why do I feel bad for a guy who stole a fucking election, looks you in the eye, says he didn't, and then calls you a white supremacist, three quarters of the nation. Fuck you and your uh, Alzheimer's. On Friday, my dad had it worse than him, and he wasn't making these mistakes. You know what the last thing to go is when you have Alzheimer's? This is true, too. This may, what does this say about men? I did this on stage. I got a huge laugh. 
My dad couldn't, you know, he fucking just staring at the TV, whatever the fuck, in the nursing home. But then a cute young nurse would come in. He looks at my mother. He goes, nice, huh? <laughs> the last thing to go is the pussy cells. What does it say about men? You've lost your mind, but that still stays focused. Can you blame us for being pigs? Anyways, I digress. On Friday, the Jewish Voice also posted a video. The Jewish Voice? Who's this? Bible Streisand? Also posted a video clip of Biden being asked a question by a reporter who shouted, how are your meetings going in Cornwall, Mr. President, as he uh, walked across a patio and his wife had to come. First of all, I feel bad because he has sneakers on like a guy you'd see in Vegas at a slot machine at four in the morning in his 70s with a members only jacket and a scotch in his hand. Nothing looks sadder than old man with running shoes on. Anyways, watch Jill save him here. What an embarrassment. How are your meetings going in Cornwall, Mr. President? How are your meetings going here in Cornwall? Very well. Oh, come on. <laughs> Look, it's a well known. Nice oh. <laughs> it's fucking hard. God bless Joe Biden. I know she's not a real doctor and she's kind of a dope too, but that's a great wife going, oh my God, my asshole of a husband. What kind of job did he take? I gotta get him out of here. So she saved him, and everybody's laughing. Why? Because everybody knows. Not fit to run a goddamn lemonade stand. And then in the next clip, he keeps saying Libya when he means Syria, and at the end he throws them both in to cover his ass. Sounds like me and geography in fucking eighth grade. Oh my, when somebody called on me. I don't know. Um, this one, Oof, go ahead. Where? Um, we could work together with Russia. For example, uh, in, uh, in Libya, we should be opening up the, 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 the passes to be able to go through and provide, uh, Libya? provide uh, um, food assistance and economic assistance, I mean, yes, vital and assistance to uh, a population that's in real trouble. You're I in real I'm trouble. I'm going to try very much hard to, uh, it, it is, <laughs> uh, by the way, there's places where... <laughs> I shouldn't be starting off and negotiating in public. Oh, the poor Let me prank. say it this way. Russia has engaged in activities which are, we believe are contrary to international norms, but they have also... Um, yeah, but what about uh, Libya and Syria? ...bitten off some real problems they're going to have trouble chewing on. And, for Except example, the, man the rebuilding teeth. of... Uh, of, uh, of Syria, of, uh, of Libya, of, you know, this is, they're there. <laughs> All right, enough. And as long as they're there enough. without the ability to bring about some order. <laughs> Why are you a fucking mumbling, stuttering little fuck? You know that? <laughs> you know what he did there? He was answering, and then he paused, and somebody was in an earpiece going, say this. But this is the best one of all. This one just fucking freaked me out. It's almost like you think the screen paused. He's, and if you don't believe my earpiece theory, uh, watch this clip and tell me I'm uh, wrong. Biden has another deep brain freeze. When asked about past remarks he made about Putin, because, you know, I think he's meeting with Putin tomorrow. Let's see all the bad talk. Let's see Mr. I beat up corn pop. See how tough he is when it comes face to face with a KGB guy. Who, who, who he was never one-tenth as smart as. I don't give a shit what you think about those, those fucking Russians. <laughs> uh, anyways, check, check him out, and don't tell me when he pauses for about five seconds here, somebody's not in his ear saying this. Here you go. They actually, I... Uh, well, look, I mean, he has made clear that... Uh, uh, The answer is, I believe he is in the past essentially acknowledged that he was, uh, there are certain things that he would do or did do. Oh, my God. How long was that pause? Hello? Hello? That's Hello? somebody in his ear. Hello? 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 Say this, Joe. This is what he said. This is what he did. Boys, how fun is this? Oh, boy, is this great. <laughs> you want me to believe you got 80 million votes? 
Seriously, that's making me laugh. That's not a fake laugh. This is a fucking outrage. Can you imagine being Trump sitting home and watching this jag off going, you got to be shitting me. How much more evidence do you need? This guy couldn't find the men's room. Oh, I think it's obvious uh, someone's given him the instructions on what to say through the earpiece. Do you realize uh, you idiots that helped steal the election and that was all 10 people who voted for him have put this country uh, in a really dangerous position? Because if I'm Iran or fucking any of these countries, China, the whole, both those countries all have very tiny erections right now watching this guy. I looked at the chart as penis sizes from country to country. Um, oh, my God. By the way, Italy came in like second or first. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm uh, 49%. Uh, unbelievable. Seriously, though, you, I, I, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm fucking nervous because China ain't playing. Remember how happy they were when they found out? You wonder why they're happy Biden's the president and not Trump? Are you shitting me? They're going to manhandle him. <sighs> That's a dangerous combination, dementia and evil politically. Hey, guys, watch the full episode of the Nick DiPaolo Show uh, for free on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Android, iPhone, Android Mobile, or on your computer for free by visiting thecomicsgym.com or downloading the Comics Gym app.